What's up guys, my name is JD Cook 5 and welcome back to another episode of the Levante Career Mode. We have got 10 games left now, 10 or 9 games left I do believe, so this is the bitter end of the season and you might just see a special something at the end of the episode also. We go into the first game of the episode against Burgos, a team that hasn't performed that well this season, so I wanted to take full advantage of that and hopefully get the three points from this. Obviously, as you know, I've been struggling with injuries and players going on international break and so on, so I tried my best to be able to field the better side that I could. In goal, we've gone for Danny Caderas. At right back, we've gone for Osson. Two centre-backs being Al Yamik and Jakub Baric. Left back being Galarado, with your two holding midfielders being Vargas and Mbamba. Scott is in attacking midfield with Nusa, Grant and De Frutos as your front three. Solid line up there, and Bambo and Vargas with your two young CDMs. Really excited to put them in and two and see how they work. Didn't take us long to get into the game on the seventh minute. A nice over the top ball to Grant, and he does a little cheeky chip, as I like to call it. And he puts it in the back of the net to put us 1 0 up, and we are absolutely cruising at this point onwards. Seven minutes into the game, and we have already made our little stamp on it. Didn't take us long to get the second either, and a nice interception from Vargas. A flurry of play from Scott to Grant, De Frutos playing a nice ball there and Grant finds himself a lovely bit of space and makes it 2-0. How many goals have we seen like that this season where Grant has just made the full kind of availability of the space and he just puts it in the back of the net. He's been a ridiculous player for us and he was so cheap also and that was the better thing about it. In the 57th minute we do get a bit of pressure here. Brabic is able to read the play nicely though. I did actually think it was going to concede if he wasn't to do so. But it was a nice interception and luckily we was able to get in front of it. We do make a few changes. Sidney Ryberger comes in at cam for Scott. Noosa comes off for Masonda. Just a few little changes. As you see there in the 89th minute, Al Yamik finishes the game off to make it 3-0. He has scored so many headers like this at the moment and to be honest he has been an absolute rock at the back. Someone that I'm really proud of and it's just had some pure leadership in this team rises upon the defenders there and the goalkeeper has absolutely no chance whatsoever the game does end up being 3-0 in the end and that is three points to take back home brilliant kind of game that was and very happy indeed we get a loan offer for Ridon as a two-year deal and we also get a loan offer for Olsen very happy to accept them both. I don't want to let them go because I think their potential will go up on loan when they get the game time. But I was happy to let them go for the meantime. We do simulate the next game against FC Andorra, Sriracha and Afif being on the score sheet. That's to be able to get the three points and we do move on into the episode. As you can see, we have a transfer offer from Middlesbrough for Ibanez. I do believe I'm saying that right. Um, it's someone that I wanted to get rid of at the start of the season, in all honesty. And I was just happy to get him to go. We do get two offers. I tried to bump one of them up, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. And we do have to accept the 1.2 million. As I say, I'm just happy to get him off the books. Happy to get him off the wages. And we'll go from there and hopefully bulk up the squad next season. The next game of the episode comes up against Malaga, a very, very well-known team, and I filled a nice squad for this one. Cadnier is in goal, Sriracha right back, Al Yamik and Omdembele as your two centre-backs, Gallardo left back with Abora and Peplu as your two holding midfielders, Scott, Grant, Anusa and Di Frutos keep their place in the side, keeping the same attacking front, front line. We do concede a sloppy goal though in the third minute. Unfortunately on Dombele, I do believe that is there, or Garrado, I think actually. He just loses his man and he's not able to catch up with him whatsoever and unfortunately we do go 1-0 down. In the 14th minute we do poise a bit of attacking play here and Grant is unlucky to have his finesse shot saved there. Thought that was going to go in but it wasn't to be. Didn't take us long after that little chance that we had there and in the 20th minute we are able to get the ball back from our centre to the actual end of the pitch. Grant is able to find a bit more space there and he's able to loop the ball into the box and Scott all he has to do is just put that on target and it is a goal. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper sorry, takes too long to kind of come across to the ball and it's a simple kind of tap in with his head to make it 1-1. I was poising so many different attacking plays in this game after I went 1-0 down so it was only a matter of time. 
In the 26th minute, we get a nice bit of play out from the back there, being able to find De Frutus on the wing. We only get it in our own half, but it doesn't take him long to make a 1-2 with Grant, and away he goes, to be honest. Really nice bit of pace, and he just completely glides past all the opposition players. He does find the back of the net to make it 2-1 in the 28th minute, and we are absolutely cruising at this point onwards. Even though we did go 1-0 down, I don't feel like we was at fault in any situations at point in this game. I always felt like we had control of it, and it was only a matter of time before we were to get back into the game. A nice chance in the 45th minute arose where Scott was able to find the ball into the box. Unfortunately, it was to get blocked out, but to be honest, it didn't matter because it bounced back to him, and what a finish. I'm trying to be able to decide what kind of contender goal of the season is because we have so many at the moment. Going through these different goals, and then Scott just adds to the list. I did think at first that it was a nice ball in, it just gets dinked out, and then he just falls to his feet and the way he just able to put it on his left to his right and just absolutely belt it was unbelievable the control in it was just so precise and the way he just kind of it's with his chest he downs it with his chest puts it on his left puts it on his right volleys it and then just hits it top bins hitting the roof of the net an absolutely unbelievable goal and such a, a perfect one at that we nearly start the second half even better there. We nearly had another screamer on our hands, to be honest. It nearly curled in the top corner, but it wasn't to be. And it's just one of those. They can't all go in. In the 55th minute, you can see that Grant goes down. I don't know what he's holding there, but he is definitely injured. And unfortunately, we do concede from that. feel a little bit mugged off, in all honesty, because we were... We should have got a foul, 100%. We should have had a foul. The play would never have happened and they would have never have scored. But it was one of those. Not a lot happened after the goal, to be honest. I didn't really push it for, a, for another. I felt comfortable in the game. They did come at me at some points, but I, I wasn't really interested. And I knew I was able to get the three points in the end. That's just confirmation to say that Roberto Bananas is able to go to a Middlesbrough for a fee of 1.2 million. Right, this is now the big game. This is the one that we've we've been waiting for as a club and everyone else. This is why we've been doing what we've been doing this season. If we are to win this game, we do go up to the Liga. So we do have time to be able to go up. We don't have to do it straight away. We do have time. There's X amount of more games to be able to be played, to be able to gain however many points that we need. All we need is three points. That's all we need. It doesn't depend on anyone else's results. If not, if the team behind us, I do believe Tenerife, it doesn't mean if they lose that we go up. It's none of that. It's as simple as if we win, we go up simple as that it's one of the biggest games in Levante's history to be able to go back up to the big time and be able to kind of be the giants that they used to be would be absolutely special and it's something that I've been trying all season we've we did have a rocky start to the season don't get me wrong but throughout we have showed how strong we are and even in the cup competing against the teams in the Liga we definitely show that we have that sort of pedigree in us and we're definitely that sort of side I do believe that the qualities that we display are definitely in that sort of range of teams. We do feel the side of Danny Caderas in goal, right back being Son with your two centre backs being Al Yamik and Jakob Brabic. Left back being Jesus Gallardo with our two CDMs being Abora and Vargas. Vargas sorry. Sidney Ryberger playing Cam with our fifth coming in for Noosa, Grant keeping his place at striker and Bukhari keeping his coming in sorry at right wing. Do get a quick chance there in the third minute. I thought that was bending round to go in, but it wasn't to be. We did start a bit shaky. Unfortunately, we do concede a corner in the 10th minute. Bakari goes to clear, and unfortunately, Ross gets on the end of it. And yeah, there was not a lot I could have done about it. A really wayward clearance, and I was expecting it to go the other way, but unfortunately, it fell to his feet. It went from bad to worse, and it didn't take it long to do so either. And unfortunately, Bolivar does find the back of the net with a nice shot from outside the box. Really unexpected against a team that hasn't performed at all this season. But we got our heads down and the 19th minute we are able to create another chance here. We didn't have many at the first point to be honest. But a little bit of a strange clearance from there. Grant goes in, gets cleared out and then falls back to Grant with a nice pass from Bikari. And we do find the back of the net to get one back only having a one goal deficit. A little bit of pressure relieved and it does allow us enough time to be able to get our back get ourselves back into the game. 
Really nice finish though. It does fall on a plate, but he does have to score it also. Sydney Ryberger comes close in the 33rd minute. A little bit of frustration in all honesty. But we just wanted to get into the game as soon as possible to allow us to get the win. We do make a few substitutions, changing Afif to the cam roll. Masunda goes in on the left and substituting Grant for Cantoniero. In the 64th minute, Son picks up the ball really nicely and passes it over to Bakari. Afif is able to find Cantoniero and he slots it in the back of the net to make it 2-2. We have 25 minutes to make history. Um, yeah, a completely unexpected one in all honesty. I didn't actually see myself getting back into the game as the minutes rolled on. Ten minutes later though, Cantoniero passes it over to Bakari and he finds our fifth and absolutely belts it into the goal to make it 3-2. Free, free 15 minutes left and we could be going up. An important goal, someone that's been really good for the club this year and someone that came on a free so it was even better. A nice flurry of play between the three of them being Cantoniero, Bakari and our fifth. Really easy goal but really simple and nice at the same time. Even though it was 15 minutes, it felt like the longest 15 minutes possible and the 90th minute they do get a corner but it loops over the top of the goal. The final whistle goes and the players are jubilant, they are celebrating like anything as well as the fans. They deserve this more than anyone and I was so glad we were able to get it over the line with games to spare and we do find ourselves champions of the division and also going up to be in the Liga next season. Really well deserved and really well fought. As I said at the start of this game, we did feel at the times we wasn't able to get to that sort of position when we started so poorly. But we was able to get a good run going. And yeah, it was just it was just so well deserved. We've had so many injuries this year with Scott being injured for a month. Williams being out, that's our, our, our transfer record for the season. He got injured. Postigo, fortunately, he got injured. Montiel got injured. And then we was tending with the international breaks in between as well. So, yeah, we've had our fair share of injuries and everything else and the schedule that we've had. It hasn't been easy with the squad and the budget and everything else. But we've made do. We've made it work. And there we go. Al Yamik goes to raise the title above his head. And there we are. Championes, absolutely brilliant and something to look forward to when we go into next season where we will be competing with the big boys and yeah hopefully we can make even more history as a team and go on to something special I mean the players that we do have at our kind of hands we have so much potential young and old I'm, it's been quite nice to be able to have the experience there also and hopefully by the time that we do go up into the league next season our players have gone up even more in potential and hopefully we can make some marquee signings to be able to go around it. Don't forget we do have some pre-contract players arriving also. So it will be nice to be able to fill them in and hopefully be able to kind of make a little bit of history. Even though we have won the title, this isn't over just yet. We still have a few games to be able to play. Doing so though, we are going to field a weaker side just because we are able to kind of give them some game time now. The results don't matter as much but obviously we want to have a bit of kind of capability to win some games because we don't want to let us fold near to the end of the season. After this one we do simulate the last game of the episode against Las Palmas. Even though we've won the title the boys still do us proud and we are able to get the 2-0 win. Confirmation of our title win there, as you can see we are on 91 points and Las Palmas being on 72. We've played 38, we've won 28, we've drawn 7 and we've lost 3. A monumental record to be honest and something that has been really proud of for the boys. Such tough fixtures and never knew what I was getting myself into. It was definitely one of the unknown things in this series. But we've done the fans proud and we've done everyone else proud and we've got to this moment and hopefully, maybe just maybe, we will get to that 100 point tally. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more content just like this one. And don't forget to hit the notification button for when I do release another video. Cheers.